हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माय नेम इज़ प्रोफेसर मोहम्मद आसिम एंड वी आर डूइंग एड मैथ एड मैथ फॉर आई जी सी एस ई स्टूडेंट्स विच हैव सिलेबस कोड जीरो सिक्स जीरो सिक्स एंड फॉर सी आई ई ओ लेवल स्टूडेंट्स विच हैव सिलेबस कोड फोर जीरो थ्री सेवन सो बोथ काइंड ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स कैन गेट इक्वल बेनिफिट फ्राम दिस कोर्स स्टूडेंट्स इन लास्ट लेक्चर वी डिड फर्स्ट थ्री क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सरसाइज फोर्टीन from chapter number 14 differentiation 2 and the topic of this exercise is the derivatives of exponential functions two questions are left which we will do in today's class question number 4 and question number 5 but before i start question number 4 and 5 first i would suggest all those students who are watching my lectures first time kindly go to my playlist there is a folder name is add math watch previous lectures of this uh, exercise and especially chapter number 12 then you'll have good command on this topic so let's start question number 4 question number 4 a curve has equation y is equals to 5 e 2x minus 4x minus 3 the tangent to the curve at the point is 0 2 meet the x axis at the point a find the coordinates of a tangent to the curve means we have to find the equation of tangent to so what are the process of equation of tangent first we have to find the value of y by putting the value of no value of y is also given and value of x is also given so first we have to find the derivative dy by dx 5 e2x derivative 5 e2x into derivative of 2x that is 2 then the derivative of 4x is Minus four and the derivative of three is zero. dy by dx is the gradient of tangent which I represent by m subscript t five to z ten e power two x minus four. Satisfy this gradient of tangent by the value of x that is x is equals to zero. Ten e power two into zero minus four. 10 e power 2 into 0 is 0. Something to the power 0 is always 1. So 10 minus 4 is equals to 6. This is the gradient of tangent. Now find the equation of tangent. So y minus y1, y1 is 2, is equals to mt is 6 x minus x1, x1 is 0. So the equation is y minus two is equals to six into x six x. Y is equals to six x plus two. Now this tangent is touches is is uh, meet the x axis. So, uh, you know tangent is a straight line, and when the straight line touches the x axis, the value of y is always zero. So replace this y by zero. Is equals to six x plus two, then minus two is equals to six x, minus two upon six is equals to x, then x is equals to minus one upon three. Hence, the coordinate of x r minus three comma y is zero because of x axis. So very easy question. Question number four. The coordinates are minus one over three comma zero. Move to question number five. a very important question according to examination point of view a curve has equation y is equals to x e x part a find in terms of e the coordinates of the stationary point on this curve and determine its nature 
very easy first we have to find the derivative dy by dx so two functions are multiply so we have to use product rule that is x is u and ex is v u times derivative of v plus v time derivative of u in order to find stationary points replace dy by dx by zero taking ex is common x plus 1 ex can never be equals to 0 because if we take ln on both side ln 0 is undefined so only value is x plus 1 which is equals to 0 x is equals to minus 1 put this x minus 1 in the given question y is equals to minus 1 dot e power minus 1 that is minus 1 upon e minus 1 upon e hence stationary points are x is minus 1 y is minus 1 upon e this is final answer of part a S sorry we have to find the nature as well how to find the nature very easy we just find the second derivative the first derivative which we have already find in above dy by dx is equals to x e x plus e x so second derivative d square y by d x square is equals to apply u dot v formula on x e x that is x e x plus e x into 1 not necessary to write 1 and e x derivative is e x so x e x plus e power x e power x is 2 e power x next satisfy this double derivative by the value of x that is the value of x is equals to minus 1 we have already find so minus 1 e power minus 1 plus 2 e power minus 1 which is equals to 2 minus 1 is 1 so 1 e power minus 1 or you can write 1 upon e power 1 and 1 upon e power 1 is greater than 0 that is positive and positive means stationary point is minimum we have lot of discussion in chapter number 12 how to evaluate minimum or maximum point so this is complete answer of part a move to part b find in terms of e the equation of the normal to the curve at the point p1 e point is p1 comma e we have already derivative dy by dx x e x plus e x and dy by dx means mt that is the equation of the slope uh, the gradient of tangent x is equals to 1 so satisfy x 1 1 e 1 plus e 1 that is 2 e this is the gradient of tangent but because we need the equation of normal so we should have the gradient of normal that is the gradient of normal is mn is 2 e 1 upon 2 e this is the gradient of normal now find the equation of normal y minus y1 y1 is e is equals to mn 1 upon 2 e x minus x1 so y minus e is equals to kindly wait sorry when we have equation uh, when we have gradient of tangent is mt you know the formula of gradient of tangent into gradient of normal is equals to minus 1 so we should put minus 1 over here so gradient of tangent is 2e therefore the gradient of normal is minus 1 upon 2e so just put minus 2 1 upon 2e so this is final answer of part 
b y minus e is equals to minus 1 upon 2 e into x minus 1. What is the next part? I am copying part c again for you over here in order to complete sat satisfaction. This is the last part. The normal at P meets the x-axis at A and the y-axis at B. So this is our x-axis, this is our y-axis, this is our normal. So this is A and this is B and this is origin. Find in terms of E the area of triangle OAB. Very easy. So first we have to find the coordinates of A and B. At A the value of Y is 0 because at X axis the value of Y is 0. Y 0 minus E is equals to minus 1 upon 2E into X minus 1. 2e into e is minus 2e square is equals to minus 1 into x is minus x minus minus plus 1. Minus x shifted over there. Therefore, x is equals to 1 plus 2e square. Hence, the coordinates are 1 plus 2e square comma value of y at x axis is 0. Now find the coordinates of y. Therefore, we have to put the value of x is 0 in the equation of normal. So, y minus e is equals to minus 1 upon 2e into x minus 1, which is 0 minus 1. Hence, y minus e minus minus plus 1 upon 2e or y is equals to 1 upon 2e plus e. Take the LCM of 2e. 1 plus 2e into e is 2e square. Hence the coordinates of b are x is 0 and y is 1 plus 2e square upon 2e. Now we have to find the area of triangle OAB. As you know, triangle OAB is a right angle triangle so we have to use the formula half base into height half base base is OA the distance of OA is the x value that is 1 plus 2e square multiply by height the height is OB that is the value of y in coordinate B therefore 1 plus 2e square upon 2e Hence, the area of triangle is 1 plus 2e square and 1 plus 2e square is 2e square plus 1 whole square upon 2 into 2 is 4e. So, this is the area of triangle OAB 2e square plus 1 whole square upon 4e. This is the final answer of part C. Very, very important question according to examination of point of view. So kindly do practice more and more and more in order to get good command on the on the derivatives of uh, exponential functions. So this is about today's class where we finish the whole exercise 14.1. Two questions was left which we did in today's class. What next in exercise? Derivatives of logarithmic functions. Very, very easy topic. Try to finish as soon as possible. How many questions? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Only 7 questions. So, this chapter is very short as compared to chapter number 12. Try to finish in just 3 to 4 lectures. So, this is what we did in today's lecture. If you like my videos, my lectures, kindly do subscribe my channel. Whenever you subscribe, don't forget to press the bell icon button so that when I upload my videos, you will get the notification. 
kindly share my videos as many as you can good luck for next lecture